All right, let's talk about our local folks. So Keyshawn, our boxer, was up tonight, right? Yeah. He was. He just finished up just a little bit ago, and he is moving on. It was a great fight, uh, really fun to watch. Yeah, he won the first round. Second round landed a really strong punch, and then the judge ruled it, called it over. Keyshawn won. He is moving on. He defeated the reigning silver medalist from France in that event. That guy was the number one seed. Keyshawn was calm, cool, collected. He won. He's excited. You could see it in his face. And I've been talking with Keyshawn for a couple of years now, and he is singularly focused on winning the gold medal. He'd be the first lightweight boxer for Team USA to win gold since 1992, and he is very determined to make that happen. So I know everyone back at home, his family, they are so awesome. You know they are so excited for him. You know, and we're rooting for him as well here at Wavy TV 10. Okay, we also had a BMX rider and then, of course, our track athletes. Yeah, BMX still going on, still waiting to see what the results are with that. Been watching Keyshawn and our swimmers in the pool here today. Now, when it comes to track and field, our local athletes are still coming up in a couple of days. Michael Cherry will be running, and of course, Grant Holloway going for that Olympic gold. He is the world record holder in the 110 meter hurdles from Chesapeake. You know, those are going to be fun to watch. I know you love the track, the track events, Anita, so I know we'll all be glued to those. Glued to it. Thank you so much, Lena. Get some rest. We'll talk back with you soon. Thanks. <laughs> Remember to Catch Kayla Gaskins tomorrow for the Saturday night edition of the Olympic Zone.